<laughs> the whole city suffering. I can't that. The whole city suffering right Bro, now. This is a painful place. This is cold. Especially man. when the gay community came out and got behind the 49ers. Okay. So I'm going with Atlanta. Okay, okay. You got it. <laughs> well, here's here, 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 this is what I, I'm leaving this alone. Let me tell you what everybody, the public is rallying around. There's always that team that you want to rally around. And Tampa Bay is the favorite as it relates to the short survey of who they like to see win the uh, baseball championship. So, you know, I just want to let you know, Tampa Bay got the fan base out there rooting them on because they believe they're going to go against the Yankees in the AL Finals. Un- we want division. some new blood. Yeah. So we want to see some other people win. Yeah, yeah I know. And in Philadelphia, let me give you my shout out. Mm. They're favored to win the NL uh, conference. So well, that's me, enough for them. To me, I like, I like Philly. And, I, you know, I'm caught between Philly and Tampa Bay. But everybody's going, not New York. What team do you not want to see win? Uh, what team do I not want to see win? Yeah, the Yankees. I knew you were gonna say that because they're, they're like, like come on. it's like the Lakers. Oh, they win too come often. on! I got you. I got you. You know, right. let's have some other cities. Okay, all right. Then it leads me to another question. Then, okay, you need something to kind of energize the playoffs, so you will watch not only because of the personality, these characters, or the play of the game. What would you rather see? Pitching shutouts. Massive home run hits, bench clearing brawls, or or nude female twins streaking across the field at least two hundred fifty pounds each. I see the nude female streaking. Neither are two hundred fifty pounds, just to show the nimbleness and quickness. Perhaps they can do a few gymnastic moves along the way, and at the end we can go get a pizza. What's the number two? I knew he was going to go that one anyway. What's your number two? Uh, not pitching shutouts is really boring. Put that that's last. Right. There you go. Who was that's boring? I know. We rather see bench clearing brawls. Okay, especially if it's the girl teams fighting. Right, cat fight. Okay, I got one for you. Okay, I want to see a ma- massive home run hits that allow nude female twins to come out streaking across the field, which causes bench clearing brawls. I want to see massive home run hits by little midgets that lead to bench-clearing brawls of lingerie-clad females, which is then interrupted by nude transgenders streaking across the field. You know, he's got a (laughs) warped sense of humor. Now, let's up that one. Okay, I'm leaving it alone. No, you got me on that one. As soon as you said transgender, (laughs) you lost me. Well, I wanted to add something to the streaky. No, I'm leaving it alone. I thought... I'm leaving it alone. (laughs) CWD would help. Okay. (laughs) Hey, you guys, guess what? It's signed all the times. Basketball preseason is back. And that's the sign of the times, man, right there. That's the new Laker girl. That's She's right. found my rabbit's foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I'm leaving it alone. All right. Let me just I say. was looking for that rabbit's foot. Hey, look. First of all, first of all, that picture says a lot. I'm not going to tell you what. I'm showing you how limber people are. I don't know. That looks like me when I get down there. You know what? I'm just looking at the shoes. Does she have little feet? Well, yes. That's just like I agree. She has little feet, but big knees. <laughs> what knee? There's a knee there. <laughs> okay, let me leave it alone. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me go ahead. Lakers uh, play their preseason game in London. Of course, everybody's chanting. We're Kobe. watching that tonight. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. No, there's another preseason game tonight, Vic. Well, yeah, but I have to Cleveland. Report. Yeah, but I got to report on the other. Who cares about Cleveland? I mean, not Cleveland. I mean, Miami. Well, I mean, that's, okay. that's what I'm about to say. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. All, all right. right. Thomas, you're going to put Lakers yeah, first with everything. There's well, like, a lot of Lakers shit around yeah. here. Wait a minute. It's like Lakers coming out the, the damn pores. Here's right here. Look at all that Lakers right. stuff over there, you guys. With Boston. Jeez. And, and Michael Jackson. Like five okay, million so Lakers things. What can you say, man? This is, it is what it is. Championships. Leaders. Examples of winners. Okay? Now, need you just get over it. You a fool, Shaq. That's okay, Shaq. I got your back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Go, Shaq. Well, Shaq is a winner, too. The only thing I don't like about Shaq is the little beard thing. Okay. Otherwise, that he's my boy. All right. All he's, right. he's still my man. I'm with Shaq. Okay. Hey, the great Aristotle. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Kobe only got to play about six, six minutes. We didn't leave that alone. <laughs>
So the <laughs> fans, the it. fans were already excited because the Lakers appeared. So no one even cared about the loss. The Minnesota Timberwolves basically went on and won by 111 to 92. And then, you know, they got to see Michael Beasley, the former Miami Heat player, now who is traded to the Timberwolves, put on a show. They took it a little bit more serious than the Lakers, you can tell. And then also the big men, Lamar, Ron Artest, you know, Paul Gasol, they played limited minutes. So it's yeah. one of those walk through. How are you going to travel to Europe? Prepare to play a game, and then come off of what they call a vacation. They can't. So this is one of those thrill to see the game. Whatever. That's, that's why it. I want. Even though, okay, that's why they tuned in. But right. so that's why we want to see the Miami Heat. That's right. Everybody wants now, to. see I want to see them because yeah. at least even though it's exhibition, which means it's bullshit, but, we can still see something out of but it. But I, I guarantee you this: if you don't create some kind of rivalry. It won't be the same excitement. It's like I agree. San, it's like San Antonio when they won their four I championships. Agree. Who was the rival? I agree. But you know you what's Vic? Vic, what? they have to do something to blow this rivalry because it's already brewing, right? right? All they got to do is add a few little leaves every now to the fire. Right. Because this bad boys, I mean, I've never had a season. No. One other time when the Lakers did it, I did anticipate that disappointing season when they had Carl Malone right. and Gary Payton. But yeah. other than that, Vic. I have almost never had a season that I anticipated. Who's the rivalry in the East? Forget about the it's, Lakers. Even that is exciting. Celtics versus the Heat. You think it is? They're not even. They, they don't even talk about that. They talk about. They the don't Lakers. talk about it, but it'll be there as a rivalry. I tell you, you know what? I bet you they talk about it in Boston. Yeah, <laughs> I it bet will. you. They, I, I think, bet you they talk about it in Boston all the time. I think. The, I think when it comes down to it, everybody wants to see Miami actually go against the champions so uh, i believe it's the lakers anything short of that it's so hard to build up a rivalry because you want to see th th the expectation for miami is you're supposed to win the east period well that's what i'm saying yeah. even though the celtics have something to say about that that's true that's true and i'm saying that's what they're going like right now that's what part of the good thing is that they jaws getting a little tight <laughs> they just getting a little I know, tight. It's something to prove. They get well. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. a bunch of people, and you know, just like that's going to happen out here in the West. Right. Except I don't know who's got anything to back it up. I don't know if they're going to in do the it. West at all. Right. Yeah. yeah Who? Well, well, no. Lakers are going to be the team to be. Let me tell you why I think it's going to be the way it is going to be. First of all, anybody's going to play Miami's got to just worry about playing better defense. They're going to get scored on. The th part that I like about what Miami has, they got middle, small, small two guard small power forward gifts. Lakers have center control. So big men right now versus the Who the, you counting that big man oh, control? Oh, I always say you control the, the what, center. Who you could who you counting? I'm counting Paul Gasol. I'm come I'm, hey, wait a minute. Andrew <laughs> Bynum if he comes uh, to play. No, if count. he comes to play because it's it's like look, look what the Celtics did nobody expected. They didn't expect them to go to the championship. They thought it really was going to be Orlando. Oh, yeah, right, right. They did because they said this man in the middle is a right. beast, and that was one man. We still haven't had the Lakers a, a center healthy. Not yet. Not since 2008. No, you had, it depends how you count that because you keep counting Bynum. Yeah, just like I keep counting. They count Garnett for the last couple of years, but he's been on a what? I, well, Bynum has, to me, yet to have a one of those things times. Right. So that's the reason why I don't count him. Right. If he had had at least one season, full right. season, right. that a performance without injury, then I would feel differently. Right. Since he really hasn't. No, I think the Miami Heat are going to the championships. I think they're going to win championships. I think it's going to. I'm rooting for the Thunder. <laughs> they, you know, they got a chance. <laughs> Because everybody got, everybody knows that. <laughs> at, at, hey, well, at least I'm a root for him. Hey, look, at the end of the day, everybody tells you, what do you lack in this league? You don't lack point guards. You don't lack uh, two guards. You don't lack small forwards. But you do have an absence of strong power forwards and producing centers. And whatever team has that makes it complex for Miami Heat. Who is going to match up with Lamar, Gasol, and Bynum on Miami? You got one, Bosch. And that's it. And Bosch doesn't well, play. Well, there's some people that's to be seen. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It'll be. I actually want to see the Celtics yeah. go against that. And I actually want to see Orlando come. Because Orlando's going to try to retool in some different ways too now. I agree. I agree. I think, and look, I, 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 
It'll be interesting. I'd rather see I'd rather see Miami there than another Boston Celtics right. Lakers. Yeah. It's not a walk away yeah. though. It's mm-hmm. not like it's like people are trying to act like no. It's like the lake when the lake. And again, like what you say, we have other examples. Yeah. When you've done this, it's not a walk away because it comes down to that chemistry. That's true. Okay, I got to speed on because I went long. I want to actually show you guys something real quick. It's called Do You Believe? We're going to go run through this real man quick. Man tits, man tits. Yeah, well, it's Do You Believe? And the example of this is here's the man who's the underdog sitting right there in front of you, and you're dwarfed by the giant. Do you believe the little man can win? Well, that all depends. You know, that's an example. I'm not saying it's true. Depends would, on the sport. I wouldn't want to be in that ring. No, no, I wouldn't want to be in that ring with it. It just depends on what the rules are. If they change the rules, right. it might be. Yeah. Okay, here it is real quick. Quickly, Pittsburgh's Ben Roethlisberger. Do you believe will lead the Steelers to the Super Bowl? Yes or no? I think the Steelers have a good chance of getting to I don't know if you see. I don't like the leading. <laughs> Obviously, I think the Steelers will lead Ben to the Super Bowl. Okay. How's you, that? You answered the question. You said no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said no. In other I, words, I, you know what? He's playing it right, Vic, because they look, they prove Mike Tom, they just look so good with what they have. I, I got you. That's too bad. Too bad that makes it a negative to come back, because everything you have to worry about is how not to mess up the chemistry. Right. I'm see. I'm only saying. See, <laughs> see. It, I think it's fair playground. If you say Tom, if you say Tom Brady, Peyton Manning will lead, lead. I'm gonna say Ben Roethlisberger should lead. He either leads or he doesn't. That's right. right. Second one. Do you believe New York Jets' Mark Sanchez has played above expectations and, and are the best team in the AFC? Yes or no? No. Then you got problems because the statistics is I know. I don't think they're the best team yet. I think they could be. Who is? New England. <laughs> oh, no. You, well, you, you know you're, what? You're taking a chance. No, I am taking a chance. I just say that even though that they got beat, I don't. I think you got to be really cautious right. as you move through the season. I think they are they are proving they're gelling, and the Jets have to keep it up. That's a, so. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm rooting for the Jets. But I think Miami is better. Right. You okay. know, remember before the, the season, I thought Miami was the one in the it, AFC. Everybody picked Miami, but what they didn't expect is what I thought everybody was fearful of, and he's gone way beyond because he's thrown. I mean, his quarterback ratio and what he's done is produced above expectations. Because coming out of last year, they said, hey, man, he was just, he was terribly woeful when it came to throwing any interceptions. That's Mark Sanchez. Right. He's coming out this year. They said, when they watched that last game against no, Buffalo. No, I do. I agree. I he, like him. I just hope he can keep it up, and I don't know. Well, I, I, I tread lightly. I sit there doing one of these because I, right. I, you know, it's like the way I felt about Vic. I just was treading lightly. Yes, right. yes, he did do it, but right. every day, every game, I was waiting for him to mess up. Yeah. But one thing I will say, got to give it to LT, right. too. That's a lot to do with that, too. Yeah. yeah. LT came, coming together. They got three players that's going to come back in the lineup. That's Darrell Revis and a couple others who's coming off an of injury. So the team that's already killing everybody right now because they're getting progressively better, I say as a team, as a whole, to me, they are the best team right now in the AFC. Whether it's next week or week after, yeah. I'm saying right well, it's now. Hard it's just that I think that New England is showing about, is showing you, yeah. to me, the change as I just, they're like one of those, you got to say, watch out for them. They're, right. He's going to make them better and better yeah. as they move through, and I think he's already showing that right yeah. now. Okay, all right, all right. Well, let's go to the next one. Do you believe Mario has the solution to turning around the Raiders' work Raiders working with Al Davis, the owner. Yes I guess no? I do have, yes. <laughs> no, no. I do have the secret. Working with him. You crank the bed up really high. <laughs> you crank his bed up to about, it's about six feet right. in the air. Okay. And then you wait for him to get up to go take a leak in the middle of the night. Boom! Boom! <laughs> And then at that point, since you hear the crash, right. you know that the Raiders have a chance. So that's working with Al <laughs> Davis, right? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's like, all right. It just, all it takes is an ER visit. Hey, you know what? Somebody, an actor, and I can't remember, he was on one of the shows this morning, sports shows, and I cannot remember his name. He does voiceovers, and, and all I know is his last name is Walburton or something like that. And he made a good, he said, look, I jumped off of the Raiders when Al did the thing of holding Marcus out. That's when I jumped off. He jumped off. He said he traded off winning the excellence and the tradition for being something.